guys so it's been a while since um i have vlogged anything but i have done some things to the class i want to show you guys um it's been a busy week we've been doing a lot of activities this week we're going over like the color yellow the wheels on the bus uh what's a bus crosswalk the um light signals, things like that. So I think I'm going to show you guys a little bit about that. And then also what we did last week, some activities and what we did the first couple of days. Um, so yeah, so thanks for joining me. And um, I think I might do a vlog just a little bit of like a sit down and just kind of tell you guys who I am and a little bit more about me because I always forget to tell you guys that my name is Crystal and that I'm a preschool teacher just in case you didn't know. So yeah, let me show you guys a little bit of what we've been doing. They did their names. Um, these are some of the books I've been reading. Pete the Cat, The Wheels on the Bus. And then I have another one down here. The Little Skull Bus. That one's really cute. And then we did What is the Color Yellow? We just started this today, so they told me some things that they knew or think is yellow. And then these are like our focuses. So we did the words are bus, circle, wheel, and crosswalk. The color is yellow. I need to get some um, expo markers that are different colors other than red, green, blue, and black. The shape is circle and the number is one. And then I finally added the pencils. I did that about a week ago. <laughs> We're having a book fair this week. We did for the kissing hand. So basically they just... Um, put a heart in the middle, and then we kind of folded the fingers to say, I love you, I got that from Pinterest. And then they did this little activity where we painted their hands except for the middle of it. And um, they made the raccoon. That's the little poem, the little paws holding it. I thought that was cute that we're sending that home. And then we did the little bumblebees. We do a song called Bumblebee Names. Um, it just goes, Bumble, Bumble, Bumblebee. Won't you say your name for me? And then they say their name. That's how we got to know each other. I'm going to probably add something like right there um, that has like a little bee saying. And then today they made these um, signs, the traffic light signs signals I mean so they just ripped paper and then we glued it in the circle since we are doing circle and then these are the colors and that help with their uh, fine motor skills I think um that's about it this is how the class is still looking we're still not done with the tree <laughs> hopefully that'll get done soon and then I would I need to put another color up there I'm gonna probably put pink so that should look a little bit cute i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it on the other window but i might but yeah so that's how it's looking i added the days of school and then the least those chart that's our alphabet chant that we do and then i also added um the classroom rules so that has been our week I forgot to mention this um, idea that I found online. I made it myself just because I couldn't find the actual printout. It says, crossing the road, can you draw on the eyes, ears, arms, and legs so the boy can stop, look, and listen? And then we use our ears to listen for traffic. We use our eyes to look for traffic. Remember to hold hands with the grown-up and practice making your feet stop near a curb. Also, we do a song that says... Um, Stop, look, and listen before you move your feet. And I forgot the rest of it. <laughs> but I will let you guys know. And then we also did a little school bus. Which they had to put the people in there. Where does the uh, door go? Where does the driver go? The wipers, the wheels. Every kid's different. So... They do things a little bit their way. I'm trying to teach them about, I mean, school buses are different colors, but the majority are yellow, so. But anyways, that's some samples about that. And yeah, we'll probably be putting them on that wall with the road as well as.
the traffic lights. I finally was able to, um, I finally was able to put my sign. It was very hard for it to stay up since it's so heavy, but, um, these work, the command hooks. <laughs> so that's good. So that worked. Um, today is the 28th, so it has been a while since I've been able to, um, vlog. But, yeah, so I'll probably do a couple more before I make a video. But let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll get back to you guys soon. Bye. Hey, guys. So I just wanted to do a little haul of some things I got at the um, dollar store. So I got some of these, um, like, magnetic storage boxes. That way I can put on my whiteboard where the... Um, calendar is so I got a turquoise one and a pink one I was using the buckets from the dollar area from um, Target but that didn't really work because they keep just falling off so I'm going to um, try to use these instead so I need one for my expo markers and my eraser and then I need one also for my regular markers that I use for our daily message I also got some of these magnets um, which I thought were pretty good because they're circles and I do want to add more things to my um, to my circle time area as well as my reading area. So there's these little circles that you can see and they're magnetic and I'll probably just like put hot glue on them. I know that there's some that are stickers but I didn't find those so I'm going to just use these. Also, um... Let's see, I got some tape, but that's not really for my class. But it's not bad, you get three of these for a dollar. And then I also got some gold um, tape, duct tape, so that I can put for them to line up. I'm going to put some near the area for them to line up to wash their hands, as well as to line up to go outside and to come inside because it seems that they're kind of having a little issue lining up. So I think that will help so they can stand on something. And then I actually got these rocks, but I'm gonna I got them for my succulents just to put them in the bottom of the pot so that the water doesn't stay or like you know they're good so that um the water goes down. Um and that's about it, but I didn't have a chance to really share um um how I also got some things from my Amazon wish list. So one of the things that I really wanted for my Chromebook, because each teacher gets a Chromebook, so one thing that I really wanted to get was um, a carless mouse to use. I know it has a, like the touchpad mouse, but I'm not really good with that one. So I was actually able to I was actually able to get um, I put this on my wish list. So it works awesome, so handy. Thank you so much for um, getting this for me. As well as, let me get it really quick. I also got this. So this will help with my flexible seating. So I wanted to try this. So it's um, a yoga ball that has so that they can sit down. And it also has a, a little inflation thing. So that I will use. I haven't inflated it yet. But I thought that was really nice. And then I was just going to share the books that I did get at the, at the, what you call it? At the book fair. So I got Pete the Cat, Firefighter. Um, Pete, I thought this was really cute. And then it's cute. It has stickers. So whenever we do go, I can give them a sticker. And then I also got, got Hello, My Name Is. And it's really cute because it's about um, this little fish that doesn't know what he is. He doesn't know what he is or what his name is. So he kind of goes around and asks them what their name is. And the good, nice thing is they say what they are and what they do. And so then she, trying to figure it out. So like this one says, I'm a giant squid. She's huge and powerful. I'd swim clear of her if I were you, whispered the angler fish. The new creature swam by and the squid as quietly as he could. So it just has the different ones and it's really pretty pictures. 
And then I also got a truck full of ducks. It's really cute because they say, did you call for a truck of ducks? And then the other vehicles are different. Um, it's really cute. Like this one's an ice cream truck. And so there's also the um, construction trucks, things like that. I thought that was really cute. So yeah, so those are the three I got. And it was nice because they gave me like $15 gift card or, you know, credit. So that was really cool. And then I was just going to show an activity we did for Pete the Cat. So it just says, um, you put the name, for example, Crystal stepped in, let's say, strawberries. And now her shoes are red. So it basically I had them color whatever color shoe theirs are. And then this is... Um, from TPT, but I'm not sure which um, person exactly, but this one they had to color the shoes on top and say why they like Pete the Cat, so I thought that was really cute. And then we also did another one. And this one they had to show um, Pete step into red strawberries and then now his shoes are red and then they would actually cut these out so what I did is I had the teacher or my assistant like color brown around them and red so they knew how to match it was a little bit more difficult than than what I had planned but they were able to figure it out and we helped them we helped them match with red with red blue with blue so that was pretty good so yeah so I just wanted to share some of those things and I will talk to you guys later all right bye